Welcome to the 30 Minute Hour. It's the personal development podcast for entrepreneurs who are looking to level up and become unstoppable. I'm your host, Eric Twiggs, your procrastination prevention partner. Joining me as always, you know him as the super CEO, the business strategist extraordinaire, and all around good guy, Ted Fells. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Thank God it's Monday. Thank God it is Monday. Absolutely. So Mark, that now that's what we say here on the 30 Minute Hour Podcast. Everybody says, thank God it's Friday. We say, thank God it's Monday. That's we're, right. We're ready to get at it. It's all, all on your perspective. That's right. That's right. That's, that's right, sure. Mark. We, Mark, we get them out there on Monday morning. We get, a, we get everybody jump started with, thank God it's Monday at 10 a.m. to get the day going. You know, everybody's all excited about Friday. No, we want you to get excited about Monday. That's right. The- Monday, Monday sets the tone. Sets the tone. See, Mark already knows. Right, Mark right. Already knows. It's, a, it's a movement. That's Thank right. God it's Monday. That's right. Yep. So for those of you all, those of you that didn't get a chance to watch us this morning, make sure you go back and check us out. You can go on the 30 Minute Hour Facebook page and just go to Thank God It's Monday. We talked about gratitude today. Uh, so go back and check it out. It's only five minutes, little little short segments of inspiration and motivation that can change your perspective and ultimately change your life. But uh, so, Ted, we, we didn't really warn Mark that uh, this is not your everyday podcast. Not your everyday podcast, Mark. We do it a little <laughs> different, Mark. We well, should have warned you backstage, Mark. We, we, we didn't That's tell you. That's all right. I can, I can go with it. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That he can go right. with it. Yes, That's sir. right. So, so we have quite a few people that watch us uh, live. You can watch us on Facebook. You can watch us on YouTube. You can watch us on LinkedIn. But then we have people that like to listen, to listen to the episodes on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and all those uh, good places. But either way, don't forget to share the show. Share the show. Share the show. All right. Take a screenshot with your phone. Send it to at least three people so they can be blessed by the message. Very important. Absolutely. Don't don't forget about the What Now movement. Uh, You can go in and join the What Now movement Facebook group. Um, Also, mark your calendar for this coming Saturday, May the 7th, uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time. We're going to be talking about, we're having another one of our coffee and conversation. Coffee and conversations again. It's it's that time? (laughs) Absolutely. Oh, man, it's great. It is that time. So we had coffee and conversation. We've been, our theme this year has been all about goal setting, Mm -hmm. right? We, We talked about reflecting on your goals. We talked about setting goals. We talked about moving from reflection to action. Now we're going to talk about accountability, mm. right? How do you keep yourself accountable to your goals? How do you how do you close the distance between what you say and what you ultimately do? So mm. we're going to talk. We're going to talk about the the accountability piece. This coming Saturday, ten o'clock Eastern time. Coffee and conversation. Make sure Man, you try. If you're trying to get somewhere, we're trying to help you get there, Mark. Mm-hmm. We're trying to help you get there. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So Definitely. speaking of helping you get there, this would be the, the perfect time to introduce our guest because he, he's in this the same flow, this mm-hmm. inspirational, overcoming your obstacles, overcoming your challenges, having the right perspective. Uh, so he's known as a curator of a bigger vision within. Mm. That's right. He specializes in speaking from his personal experience of trials and tribulations in life, uh, his desire to chronicle choices and share the journey of his life. It resonates with everyone uh, at the core, at our core personality. It hits us personally, hits us professionally. Uh, He's got this podcast, it's called The Process. Uh, where he outlines and breaks down break down situations that we all go through and offers insight on methods to weather the storms of life. Please join me in welcoming to the 30-Minute Hour podcast, Mark V. Smith. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for having me on this, on this marvelous Monday. Marvelous Monday. Marvelous Monday. <laughs> that, that's another that's great name for it. <laughs> now, it, it's, an, it's an honor to have you on the show um, and definitely looking forward to uh, the movie. I was, I was getting inspired just doing my homework on you, Mark. <laughs> I, I was listening to well, some of your... I was listening to some of your uh, your podcasts and reading up on you. You're a pretty inspirational guy. So let, let's roll back the clock. Uh, back when you were at Ohio State uh, as an undergraduate, like, like what did you think you were going to be uh, at that time? Man, I was lost. I, I really was. I, I go back and think about how undisciplined I was, how I was unsure of myself. What was it going to take to be successful? Um, was I going to finish school? Did I have uh, what, what it took to stand up and meet the standards of, of what um, I wanted to complete for my family? I mean, it was just it was a rough time for me growing up, getting to know, you know, you, you say that you have those years to where you get to know who you are. You know, mm -hmm. I was still trying to figure out who I was and, and what I was designed to do. I mean, I walked in, said I was going to go. I was going to be a, a doctor. You know, and that, that was my dream to go there and be a doctor. And that didn't happen. You know, life, life, though, life happens and, and you wind up. Uh, which me, but I often chronicle about it. I didn't take school serious. And by me not taking school serious, my grades suffered at that particular time. And I came to that crossroads to where I said, wait a minute, I got to step back for a minute. And when you step back for a minute, then your parents have to get in you behind a lot of minutes and then get you get, get you back in, inspired to go back in and finish things off the way it should be. So it was rough. Um, I, I think I would tell anybody to uh, before they do that is is uh, talk to somebody who's actually walked that walk, both good and bad. Somebody who who's who's um, didn't do well in school as well as somebody who did do well in school, because, again, you are going you become um, independent at that point. I think the biggest thing that I had to remember, man, I remember being told was that the instructors really don't care. They're tenure. They're getting paid. They're going to get paid whether I show up to school or whether I don't show up to school. So it became that that uh, motivation, intrinsic motivation that I started to develop within to realize that, hey, I got to get mine because they got theirs. So it's time to get into this game and play this game. You know, don't play checkers anymore. This is teaching you to play chess. And let's go get it from that point on. So it was a long, long road. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven president. I mean, no, six, seven years <laughs> to get it done, you know, but, you know, I, I got it done through um, the grace of God, through my, through, through perseverance and uh, weather, weathering a lot of storms, man. Mm. Yeah, it's interesting. I, when I think of those years, I can remember in high school, I could kind of, it's like I could wait till the last minute on a test and kind of get by with it. When I got to college, it was like a different. Not different happen. ball game, you know. Not happening, not at all. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like whenever there's a different level, there's a different expectation, there's a different work ethic required, uh, and, and, and all I, that good stuff. I think the fact that also that, that I had to embrace, man, you know, because I was a, I was a a, a five star athlete in, in mm -hmm. high school. So mm -hmm. you know, I was heavily recruited. I had had my own thing. I, I I you know, school wasn't challenging to me in high school, but man, you go to college, it's a whole new ball game. They don't care. You know, and I can't, I can't emphasize that you here. You this is a business decision for you. You we're, you are here to 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 bring money to this university and make them better. So if you don't get your hind parts in gear, guess what? We'll, we'll replace you. There's, there's there's thousands of you waiting to get in here. So you need to get it together or, or get out <laughs> or get out. So, so Mark, what'd you play, man? You know, you look, you, look, look, Eric. You know when you say that, somebody gonna say, well, "What'd you play?" I played a little defense. I played a little defense. So. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Well, you, you must have been pretty good if you were playing for Ohio State. So. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was a great experience, man. It really was. It was probably you know one of the best experiences in my life to have an opportunity to to be surrounded by so many athletes, great individuals, and, and great coaches, man. I mean, I learned. I learned again more about uh, life in those mm. years in college than I did, you know than high school and, and some of my other years after I left school, man. You learned about brotherhood. You know, you learned yeah. about what it took to, to, to ride together, to, to believe in each other, to hold, use that word accountable, right? To hold yeah. each other accountable every single day to make yeah. sure you're reaching your goals. So it was it was a great experience, man. I, I, I wouldn't go back and change it. Nothing that happened 
I would not go back and change one, not one F, not one A, <laughs> not, wow. not, not, one, not one sweaty <laughs> moment. I wish those moments, man, for, to who I am today. Yeah, it's interesting when you think about like those big colleges like Ohio State, and it's like every game is almost like the the NCAA tournament in basketball, right? Like you get, like you can't have an off day because like you like you two losses that was a bad season. Yeah, you under the microscope. You wow, under the microscope. Hmm. Absolutely. So if you could go back and talk to your younger self, go back in time and talk to your younger self, knowing what you now know, what advice would you give to yourself? Understand the value of that. Understand the fact that time stands still for no man. Or woman. Hmm. Understand the fact that time is free, but it's priced. Understand that you can own it. But you can't. But but you now you can't own it. But you can use it. Understand the fact that you can keep it. But you can you can't keep it. But you can spend it. Understand the fact that once it's lost, you'll never get it again. What you do or what I chose to do in that, I, you know, everybody that knows me knows I talk a lot about eighty six thousand four hundred. That's the total number of seconds we all have in a day. Eighty six thousand four hundred. What are you doing in that time? Because mm. you can't get that back. You know, I am. Um, you, know, you brought that up. I just uh, got back today. I was telling you before I got back literally 45 minutes before we, we're going live today. I was in Mobile, Alabama this weekend speaking to a, a good friend of mine has a, a foundation called Coach Step. So they um, were, were awarding scholarships to young men, uh, African-American young boys in Mobile, Alabama. So I was one of the speakers there this weekend. And, you know, he one of the things that we all agreed on all the men who spoke is this we see each other in 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 the audience we've seen our younger versions of ourselves out there when we were who we were speaking to so i was just speaking to them the fact of don't waste your time don't waste time you're not going to get this back don't think that just because you're 15 16 17 18 year old that tomorrow's promise mm -hmm. make the most of everything that you can do and you shall do today because it counts. You're building a foundation for tomorrow. And again, I, I don't regret any of the decisions and choices that I made in my life. But man, I, I'm right. I'm, I'm closing out a series in the process called If I Only Knew Then, What I Know Now. So man, I, I hit on a lot of key things that, that I probably could have done, or would have done, should have done differently. But it, it's about time. It's about yeah. truly maximizing the time that you have because it's priceless. It's truly right. priceless. Wow. So, so here's what's interesting, and, I, and th I'm glad you're bringing this up because, like, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. Like, for me, it's not just that, okay, you have a limited window because you don't know how long you're going to be alive. You may die. That's true. But I, I just, I think even, like, your skill set has an expiration date, right? Mm. I think you have to think about you may not be able to do what you do the way you do it now up to a certain point. So I think you just have to seize the moment. I mean, from an athlete's perspective, talk about that. Your body gets older. Things don't move as good as they used to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your mind starts to, you know, I don't want to say, but it slows down a little bit. You're not as sharp as you used to be. And you can't go back and get it. And as we get older, it frustrates you. You know, I, mm -hmm. I can remember, you know, popping up in the morning, uh, having a, you know, drinking a glass of juice, jumping out and going to work and out and doing and having a full day, staying up to 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. up at 5 or 6, and then gone. Same day, over and over again. Man, try that now. I Man, that's you, need, you, need that's a nap. you need a nap. You need yeah. a nap. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. you can say, hey, do you need a nap or, or some sleep? I get some it. Sleep. So, sleep. Not right. it's some sleep. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you, you realize that and you appreciate some of the things that, that uh, you did before, but the point where our minds and bodies compensate for those things that are different, right? We know we can't move this way. So we allocate that word time. We allocate time to get things done or we be become more proactive in some of the things that we do versus reactive because of the limitations that we've, unfortunately, that time has been on each one of us. Hmm. Yeah, you see, we just have to seize the moment and just time is, time is precious. And I was hmm. like you, yeah, when I was younger, I thought I had plenty of time. You know, yeah, all of us did, man. I mean, all of us, I don't think it's any person that didn't think that they wouldn't wake up tomorrow 
and, and mm-hmm. have an opportunity to do it. You know, and I, I use an acronym. You know, one of the things I'm sure we'll talk about is, is I use a lot of acronyms when I write. And one of the acronyms that I use, I talk about all the time when I speak, I talk about being poor. And people look at me, poor. I'm not, I'm poor, I'm rich in spirit. I said, but let me ask you a question. Have you passed over opportunity repeatedly in your life? Have you done that? Yeah, you have. Because each one of us have. We we saw things and said, ah, well, I'll wait. I, I can get to it tomorrow. I can get to it. Guess what? That one moment that we slept on, that we didn't that we didn't take advantage of that opportunity, but I mean, that could have set us up for, for years to come and changed mm-hmm. our legacy and changed mm-hmm. a generation. So, you know, I, when I talk a lot, man, today I talk about that, that word time and what we're doing with it. And some of the things that some components that, that fit inside that, like passing over opportunities repeatedly or re- being rich, realize it can happen. So it's a whole plethora of things, man, that, that we need to change our mindset from as mm-hmm. we go. You know, I don't say go forward as we grow forward to make sure that we're, we're doing the things we should do. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so I want to hear your story. So tell us your story as far as how you, okay, so you, you were at Ohio State, you graduated. So what's the story that got you from that point to where you're this inspirational, motivational speaker with the podcast and everything else? <laughs> Man. Uh, I'm going to work in assembly line. Uh, working with juvenile. <laughs> well, I started out when I left, I went to school and worked for Franklin County Court. So I, I wanted to work and make an impact. I've always felt that that making an impact was something I was called to do. And I started that way. I started out working with Franklin County Courts and juvenile probation. And I did that for about um, four and I realized that that type of field is very underappreciated, very underappreciated. So I decided to take a step back from that avenue or some from those things and went to started going to work at Honda. So I you know I I started ch- what I like to say chasing money because you know I was making great money at Honda, um, doing extremely well, getting paid every single week. So I mean I thought I was living my best life right then. But again, your body pays a price jumping in and out of cars. I had uh, a, a carpal tunnel surgery. I had hmm. uh, a surgery on my foot. I had, had so many different things and ailments that you take it, you don't take it, think happen when you're doing those types of a manual labor. Um, left that left that area and, and um, I moved into post-secondary education. And because again, I've always been the one that wants to help people. I, I believe that, that sharing, you have to share your knowledge. You have to help people try to reach their goals. Did that for 15 years, and then all of a sudden, that came to a close. You know, I was working for a school, and they abruptly closed their doors. And I I, and I was pretty upset about it. I, 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 If anybody, which I'm sure everybody, people who are listening, they've lost jobs before, right? And it crushed them because they said, not me. And I've always said, told people when I tell the story, I quit jobs. Jobs didn't quit me. Me? No, no. I leave you. You don't, you're not getting rid of me. And that happened to me, man. And it hadn't been, you know, for the blessing of, of, of my wife, man. I, I was headed down a, a, a terrible path, mm. a, a spiral, a real spiral, because I've always worked. I've always worked, Ted. Ted and Eric, I've, I've never not had a job. Mm. And, but, but to be at, at, at um, you know, in my late 40s and not working, and, mm-hmm. and knowing that my skill set and, you know, and we, we have to be real. I mean, age discrimination is real. I mean, mm-hmm. they can see a 40 plus year old man coming in there saying you're interviewing for this particular position. Now, we, we can hire somebody younger than you and pay them less versus mm-hmm. what your value is. Plus, plus, you're not going to come in here and think that you're going to tell us how to run this. You know, so, I mean, it went through a lot of things went through my mind in 2018. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, man, she had told me because the last job that I had, I was uh, in career development. I worked was a career development director. So she had told me, she said, you've always wanted to um, speak and you do it every day. Why don't you make this your dream? You mm. dream is there. Manifest your dream. Speak your dream to existence and just go for it. Don't worry about nothing else. I got everything. We're square. We, we we need to get this together. This is a passion that you have. It's time to quit living for other people and living for things. Live your dream. And mm-hmm. I, that started, man, in 2019. I just started with a simple YouTube video. One stanky. <laughs> that's a stanky. One, one, one YouTube video that I didn't think would amount to anything. Mm-hmm. I ran it, 
I called it, I, it was my debut episode. It was called AIR. And that stood for accountability, integrity, responsibility, and respect. And that hit, had over 100, 100 people uh, looked at it, subscribed to it over the first week. So I'm like, man, I'm on to something. Something's, mm. something's, something's going here. People want to hear what I'm feeling inside. Mm. And from that point on, man, I just can continue to continue to put those out. And then, you know, uh, Eric and I were talking about it. Uh, a radio station, Star 107 FM, contacted me uh, about six or seven months into that and said, hey, we'd like for you to, to come and, and share your messages on the radio on Saturday. And I said, I don't know if I'm really ready for that. And I'll never forget the gentleman, David Bynum. He said, you know what? This is the only time I'm going to tell you. This is the only time I'm going to tell you that. This is your, this is your one shot. Take it or leave it. Mm. <laughs> The rest is history. <laughs> the rest is history. Wow, wow, that's that's awesome on, on a lot of levels. Uh, <laughs> so, so you started. So, you did so I guess my story. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. So, I guess the, the point that I want to make for anybody and everybody that's listening is a door that what you what you may think is closed is closed for a reason to open something else. Mm. I used to add comfort as a casualty of growth. See, mm. I got comfortable. I got comfortable in that in that funky again that funky use that word again right that funky nine to five job to where it was safety it was secure it was all that all that good stuff and God said no son I need you to grow I truly want you to grow spread those wings and and create something that I know is inside you and let people know who Mark is and hmm. share it with the world so wow so say that again uh, comfort, comfort is a casualty of growth. Comfort is a casualty of growth. That's mm -hmm. facts. Mm -hmm. Facts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that that's fantastic. So, what, what advice do you have for the entrepreneur who might be at feeling like they're at a rock bottom moment or they're at a low point? What what advice do you have? Um, I would say simply what what I. What, I, what I've been saying, and it really hit me. I, I've got an adage that I say on almost everything that I close with, and that's legacy changing actions in 2022. And, and yeah. fact of the matter is, man, is I, I, it took me to realize that, that most people don't change to the pain of staying the same is greater than the pain of change. Mm. So if we really take a moment and break that down. The, the entrepreneur, you, you have to mix it up. To, to compete. You have to be able to be daring to do something a little bit different sometimes mm -hmm. to expand and get to where you want to go because you're not failing. You are, you are basically testing to see how far you can go. I mean, if, if we, I just said it, comfort is a casualty of growth, right? If we stay in that mindset of mm -hmm. where we're just going to be in the status quo, then that's what we're going to get. But if we don't push that envelope the right way, if we don't, you know, do, doing it the, the legal way, doing it the right way, doing it the way that we're not stepping on anybody, we're not hurting anybody. We, right. keep, we push ourselves out there and push our ideas out there and surround ourselves with, with, with great people, with a circle, not a cage, right? A circle, not a cage. Then we, then we, <laughs> have that and we will grow. Well, again, we, our, our, the, the ideas will come in abundance. The opportunities will come in abundance. The, 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 you, I promise you, you will see so many things that are that that will exceed far beyond what we can imagine, man. Just take the shot. You know, what, 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 uh, what, what, what Michael Jordan said: Take the shot. Just take the shot. Yeah. You, know, you, you have nothing. You have nothing to lose but believing in yourself. And again, we'll go back and circle around, man. Back in college, that was an area I struggled with, man. Was just believing in who Mark was, believing mm -hmm. that I could actually be. Uh, that person that that, that affects people that affects that change, believing that that my voice was the one that was going to be strong enough to carry uh, thousands of people and, and and have hundreds of people listen to when I speak. So man, it, it's uh, I would say just go for it, man. Take that shot, truly take that shot. I'm take proof. Shot. Fifty-seven years old, man. I'm proof. Take the shot. Mark, you got me. I think I'm gonna take the shot. I just feel like giving. <laughs> I just feel like get up right now. I, I let me tell you, if I didn't have my own business, I would start it right now. Because <laughs> I almost felt like getting up, running around my own office. But I'm like, well, you already took the shot. He got me want to take another shot. This is real. This is 
This is good stuff, man. Like I look, I was just on this podcast and I quit. I'm, I'm starting my That's, business. <laughs> quit and quit your own company. Listen, you gotta be, I'm, I'm, tired of, I'm tired of working for the man. You are the man. You, you work for yourself. How you gonna quit yourself? <laughs> But now, no, Mark, no. this is one of those episodes that could be like three hours long. Like I gotta okay. watch myself because there's a lot, of, a lot of ways I want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now you, you mentioned earlier the acronym, like you use different acronyms to get your point across. What, what are some of the? Give us a couple of the acronyms you use to help um, inspire people. I, um, I gave you the, the, I gave you air. You know that was the foundation. I, you know I, I've I've written six series. I'm in my six series, about to close the six series off with, and go into the seventh series. But you know I started with as I talked about. I, I, I we all need a foundation. We need some place to actually sit. I, I want to say to level up and, and and be right there to where if, when we can't get too high or we can't get too low. We got to be able. To right there with that and that's when i wrote air accountability integrity responsibility and respect but i also challenged something that one of the other ones that was that i felt needed to be pushed out there and that one was was i when i entitled a message called growth and that was g-r-o-w-t-h and that's just for gradual reminder obstacles will test hope growth now if we really think about what growth is that is the epitome of growth it is mm-hmm. obstacles and challenges that we must endure that are pushing us to stretch ourselves forward. I Again, let me go back. I said comfort is a casualty of growth, right? So mm-hmm. again, if we, don't, if we don't have those obstacles, which is an opportunity, if we don't endure those, embrace them, stagnant. So that was that was would have been another one. And then I used uh, one of the ones I just finished with, you know, you talked about procrastination. Series five of the process was entitled Procrastination, the Thief of Time. And I closed the message there with, with something called legacy. And I, 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 you know, and when I talked about it to the young man this weekend, I p- used a parallel of what they saw in that room. And legacy I wrote was leaders exemplify greatness among choices over the years. So I went back and I talked about some of the mentors and men that unbeknown to them, to me, and women that impacted my life. You know, my I talk about my my little league football coach. Man, I'm nine years old. This man is, you know, instead of talking about X's and O's, he's talking about how to be a good father, how to be a standout uh, man in the, in the community, how to basically give back, give give back versus taking advantage of. You know, I you know I lived my life, early Mark, young Mark. I lived Mark transactional versus transformational. So I think about all those individuals like that. I think about my, you know, I, 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 my first job, man, my first job, I worked, I worked for an organization called Youth Conservation Corps. And now check this out. You had to get picked to go clean a, a clear paths of a park, get the poison ivy, uh, spider bites. Uh, you had to get picked. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but but you know what? I talked about you know Mr. Robinson, who was the, the actual supervisor there, and how he meant so much more. And I go back and think about that job. Now, parallel this, that job, taking a, a whacker and a hole and a barrel, and we're creating a six-foot path two miles long for people to walk through a walking trail. But isn't this the same thing that we do in life? Aren't we clearing a path consistently every single day for us to, and others to walk through? So, I mean, these are the small legacy. Leaders exemplify greatness among choices over the years. He didn't get paid much money doing that. I talked about my high school principal. She, she's the one that told us one time, dress for the job you want, not the job that you have. Always yeah. be always be ready. ABR. You never know when you're being watched. Your opportunity is now, not tomorrow. I mean, these types of simple, the simple messages that these, uh, these unsung heroes and I had the blinders on. I didn't recognize it till I got older and, and what? No, not older. Excuse me, wiser. Right? We don't get older; we get wiser. Until I got right wiser, back. and really embraced those. So that's just a small example of the acronyms. I mean, I've written forty-eight messages, six series. Each one of them has a theme. Um, down the mirror, you know, managing your internal reviews uh, amongst a, 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 re- a real life situations. I mean, brother, I, I just. I, I decided I wanted to be different. 
right? I've heard speakers. I've heard speakers every single day. I listen to speakers now because I want to be better. I don't want to be the same person all the time. So I said, what can I do to be different than somebody else? And, and you know, a, a, a coach will fire an acronym or fire something off to you, you know, in a play, and you know exactly what it is. But why? I said, why can't I transcend this into real life messages? Messages mm -hmm. that talk about my life, messages that talk about other people's lives, messages that make sense that we can carry on. So we think about air. We think about growth. We think about storms, surviving trials and obstacles to remain motivated. We think about those types of things that 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 I that I will, will talk about, and people they harness it, they they believe in it, and they take it with them. They take it home, and guess what? They're helping change the narrative, not only inside their household. And same thing I learned: not inside your household, inside your community, inside your inside your your world, to make everything a little bit more smoother. That's where it came from, man, and that's that's what I do. Wow! Tell you what, tell you what man, you got something. I, I think wow. that that is brilliant how you're using these acronyms and the the meaning relates to the word that you use. It's, it's a good way, and people yeah. will go back weeks they later and they'll remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the important thing. I mean, it, it it's not so much the message itself; is to make sure that and, and I wrote them for them to be applicable. Now, the, everything that I talk about, you go if you ha you're going through it. If you haven't already, you're gonna go through it. And yeah. guess what? It may not be the same exact scenario, but you know what? You're gonna go through it. So yeah. how do you deal with it? You you know because we all go through. We go through to get through, right? Mm -hmm. So you gotta you gotta arm yourself with, with resources and things that are there that you can take with you and help make help soften that blow and make you look at it in a in a different way. We can all be down and negative and sad i've been there done that brothers got the t-shirt did it did it no know exactly what it's like but i also know the other side of that street too i know what's on the other side of that street so it's about having that mindset to carry you through to the next level man you make a, a lot of just amazing points when you start talking about mindset and eric and i we talk about that all the time in mindsets and you can you know anytime you just uh you turn on the news today and you just hear about just so many crazy things that are happening in the world and people are dealing with stuff, right? But then sometimes it's just the mindset, mm -hmm. right? Looking at that situation like the glass is half full versus half empty, right? That one thing that's, that may make you do something crazy today, psh, two months from now, you would be like, that was not even a big deal to me. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I acted on it, right? I acted at that, that moment on something I tell us, I, I, I'm going to catch you all today. I tell yeah. a story about taking a glass, right? And taking a glass, and I'm telling people instead, how heavy is this glass? And people will start telling me it's about six ounces, about eight ounces, about nine ounces. I said, so if I hold this glass for two minutes, what happens? It's still six, eight, nine, whatever ounces you said in there, right? Yeah. If I take this glass and I hold this glass for 15 minutes, what happens now? Are your arms going to start going down. Arms gonna start going down. If I hold it for two years, or 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 I'm get fatigued. That's what we do with our stuff in our lives. We hold it, let it go, let it go. Mm. That same glass, the same glass of stuff is stuff. Let that stuff go. It's just water. Let it go. You don't need to sweat about it. You don't need to. The sooner you put it in, I talked about. So you put it in your mindset that it's just stuff. And it's temporary. That is, uh, you know, people know me say, I, we have situations, we don't have problems. As soon as you embrace that situation and say, okay, I'm going to get through it and set it down, then guess what? It's a show, a show is light now. This show, <laughs> that water's gone. That water surely is gone. And you know, the funny thing about that, and you think about sometimes when something happens and you be just ready to lose it. And if you can just hold it, and then later you say, man, it just felt good that I didn't let it get to me. I was with a, a, a a friend was that I was having breakfast and something was happening with the server. The server kind of forgot, was a little frazzled, and I could see her just kind of going. I was just like, "Just, just relax, mm -hmm. just relax." Eventually, the server got it together. She was, you know, the server came, complimented her on her hair. You know, was just saying nice stuff to her. It was just like then the whole experience changed. But in the very beginning, she was just about to lose it, and I was just like, "It's not that." So are you in a rush? You got somewhere you really got to be? No. Ooh, what you? 
what you sweating for? You, you're not really in a rush. You're not where you really got to be. Look, I'm treating. You ain't spending no money. <laughs> you win it all around. Just chill. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And, and, you know, I've always said life is simplistic. It really is, man. It's, it's made to be simplistic. We're the ones that co- are convoluted. We yeah. do it. We do it. Mm. I mean, we have the basic needs and, 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 and the resources that are there. They sit there. They've been sitting there. It has not deviated. We're the ones that add stuff to that heavy bag, right? There's light bag and heavy bag. We add stuff to the heavy bag. What happens then? Guess what? It becomes too heavy for us to carry. We get frustrated because we can't carry it versus not even doing it at all. Simplistic, man. Life is is, is what it's about. It's about being simplistic with the things that we do. Oh, for sure. For sure. Here's something else you say. You, uh, this actually, this is your vision statement. You say your, your why is greater than your situation, which is a part of your process. Can, can you expound on that? Man, understanding why you do it, understanding who you're doing it for, understanding the meaning of, of getting it done. You know, I, I always, I've always believed that there's no matter what is, there was somebody else that I was striving to push harder for, you know, it, whether it was for, whether it's for my wife, whether it's for my mom, whether it's for my dad, whether it's for my, my kids, whether it's for today, it's for my grandbabies. You know, I'm, it's not about me. It's my why. That's my why. My why is getting this done for them. It's no longer for me. Right. It, and it's greater than my situation. It could be, I could, it, I, my car could have two, four flat tires. I hope, let me knock on some wood. Now go outside. It's four flat tires. Right. 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 Or, or, or we, you know, I, I just so we just travel back from, uh, from Mobile, Alabama, through Atlanta, some things, uh, crazy weather. Some things could have happened. We're we're in the, we're transitioning in weather, so it's tornadic activity all across. So you know, things could uh, it could have situations could have happened. But, you know, it's part of my process, meaning that everything that I go through, everything that happens to me, everything that's going on is there to build me, to take me to another level. So my belief in my family, my belief in, in, in my job, my belief in, in, in make, sending a message is greater than my situation. It's it, I can have no air condition. It, it, it's, it, it's hot, but guess what? It's temporary. Right. This what I'm going through is temporary right then and there to get to what I need to go to. So your why, why you're doing it is greater than your situation, which is part of your process. Everybody has a process, period. Now, I, I, you know, I, I laugh and talk and my wife actually gave me this adage. I talk, I use the process when they say talk about the process. I say, it's a cake. It's a cake. We all like sweets. Right. A cake is a cake. It, the, the difference is it, a cake needs a heat source to rise. It cannot do anything. You can put batter inside there and you look at it. It's just going to look back at you. Nothing's going to happen. But if once you put it in the oven, it's going to rise or microwave, it'll rise. But it's what you put inside that cake that makes it your process. It makes it your cake. It makes it taste the way that you want it to taste. It's the, 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 the bad ingredients that you put in there. Guess what? Once you heat it up, it's going to come to fruition and you're going to eat it. And now you know from the next time what to do and what not to do. So, man, I, I just say that everybody has a process. We're all going to go. We're all going to get through our process. You just have to, again, have that mindset and believe that every single thing or every journey, not every journey that you're going through, there's something that you are supposed to get out of it. Take the time to get it out. Take the time to, to, to you, know, you say you, you don't understand it. That's fine. You will. You'll get it. You'll get it, but do it do it with humbleness and, and be hungry all the way through. So, so you mentioned the process there, and you also have a podcast uh, called The Process. So talk mm-hmm. us through how, how did this start and what can people expect when they tune in? They can expect the, um, it started back in, in, when I lost that job, right? I lost the job in 18 into 19, and, and uh, my wife you know, kick me in the butt and say, get up, get out there and make it happen. No, she, 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 no, she, she encouraged me to, to live my dream. Um, <laughs> and, and, but, but it, it's a series of messages, man, from the foundation to um, a series called the foundation, a series called the perfect storm, a series called, where do we go from here? A series called why not me to, procra- to uh, uh, procrastination and thief of time. 
it is just a collection, man, of, of acronyms, thoughts, ideas, stories, things that have actually happened not only in my life as well with others' lives to really help them understand that we in this together. We are truly in this together. I'm not better than you. You're not better than me. I'm not beneath you. You're not beneath me. We are all on the same playing field in a world that's, that is seeking uh, positivity, in a world that's seeking a way to, to get it together, as well as an opportunity for them to share it. You guys talked about it. So I think that's what a lot of people miss. And I'm going to sit on that for a minute. It, we become selfish if we don't share our time, talents, and our treasure. Mm -hmm. That's what's called of us. So mm -hmm. when, when I have these messages, I put them out there. I put them out there on, again, they're on all so uh, on all platforms, whether it's TuneIn, whether it's iHeartRadio, whether it's Spotify, you can get it. Whether you want to catch it on, on, on a Saturday on Star 107 FM, whether you want to catch it on a Thursday on WGLRO, you can get it. Whether you want to email me and, and have some conversation about it, whether you want to send me a text message, you, you still get it. So it's, it's about taking the, that collection, wrapping it up, placing it out there for everybody saying, here it is. Come get it. There's food on the table. Come get it. I'm feeding everybody. Come get it. The process. And, and then, so the other side of this is this idea of vision and purpose. What, what steps can people take, people that might be unclear on what their why is or what their purpose is? What are some steps that people can take to get clarity on that? Man, that, that, that's tough. I, I, you know, it's not, a, it's not a if you get it, it's a when you get it. And I think some of us get it sooner than others. Um, I, again, I can speak for myself. I, I didn't get it till late. You know, I, I would say later in life than, than I would have. But I think it all starts, man, when you really look in your mirror, when you truly look in your mirror, because that's where the stage is set. Because you can, you know, you know I, I was always told that you can run from a lot of people, but you can't run from yourself, right? So what you, so do you change who you are or do you just stay in that status quo? But purpose, everybody has to understand that they have value. Everybody has value. You are, you know, people say, you know, I, I think my purpose is this. I, you know, and I always caution, don't confuse purpose with platform. Don't, don't do that because per, you are purpose, right? You were created unique. You are designed. There's nobody like you. No, never will be. But you, you were created for a specific reason, a specific design to affect change and affect the world in a positive way. Now, it's up to you once you gravitate to it, grasp it and continue to do your own research and continue to look at yourself in the mirror and continue to believe strongly in yourself that you're going to be here. You know, people ask me all the time, man. So, you know, Mark, I don't think I could. You know, this time I don't think I can get through this. I, I, it's been a tough situation. And I always come back and ask them and say, you're sitting here today, right? There's have other things in your life that, that you've that have been trials and tribulations in your life, hasn't there? Yes, there has. And you got through those, haven't you? Yes, I have. So what makes you think you won't get through this? See, the results may not be the way you want them, but you're going to get through. You're going to get through. So that is purpose. Excellent. Very well said. So, so what, what's next on that? You're doing big things. You got the process, you got the videos. What's next on the horizon for you? Man, only God knows, man. <laughs> only God knows. I'm going to continue to um, uh, push my messages. Um, I'm continuing to um, work with other individuals. Um, um, I, again, I talked earlier about a, a circle versus a cage. So I'm very cautious or, or or I don't say overly cautious, but I'm definitely very strategic about individuals who I try to uh, partner with and work with on, on a lot of different reasons. Because, you know, like I said, the, the gentleman I just worked with um, in Alabama, great respect for him. He's doing some amazing things. There's a couple of individuals who are working in, in the D.C. area. You guys are doing amazing things right now. So, again, it's, it's just about um partnering, sharing ideas with other individuals, us collectively. I, I, my goal, my vision, and this is, watch this. My goal is to put together a, a conference that, ha that has some of the most powerful individuals in business, in education, in media, in speaking, or put us, put us all together and, and, have, and have this as, as something that the whole world will, will behold. As we, and, and then have the other side to where our, our young adults, right can feel the fact and see exactly 
how this impacts our world and get them involved, man. So mm -hmm. next for me, I, I just have I, I, I have a vision. You know, a lot of people, you know, that old saying, some people can't see. So a lot of people can see, but not many have vision. I'm in that transition stage, man, to where I'm, I'm close to vision. I see it. I see it. Now it's time to put it in action and put it in motion and, and go from there. Hmm. All right. I'm pumped up. Ready to run through a wall. Let's make it happen. <laughs> I still I still got people up in my office home. They'd be looking at me like, what is wrong with Ted running all around here? So I'm trying to contain myself. But yeah, it's been good stuff, man. Good stuff. Yeah, Ted wanting to quit his company and start another business. Add another company. Add another company in there. That's right. <laughs> for the man. Even when the man is, you, is yourself. I'm tired of working. Even when it's the man in the mirror. <laughs> That's it. There it is. That's it. All right. So, so this is our, our final segment. We call it Write This Down. And this is the opportunity where we each go around and share something that our listeners and, and viewers need to write down from this episode so they can level up. You know, it could be a point from the show, something on your mind. So, Mark, you're the guest of honor. Well, what's one point you want to leave the people with that they need to write down so they can level up? I'm going to say something that I believe in. Um, and I'm, I'm always reminded of it as well, is that words lie, actions lie, but consistency doesn't lie. Mm. See, I can, I can tell you and say anything in this world just to get and have an opportunity to, to get ahead. I told you I used to live life transactional and I truly live transformation. My actions, the thing could be, could, could be construed as with them what's in it for me. It can be there to benefit me and me only and potentially benefit my family. But being consistent every single day with every word that I say, with every action that I take, with every interaction with I, that I have with individuals. Because, again, we got the power to leave individuals bitter or better. Right. That's on us. That's truly on us. So I would just say, tell everybody, think about this premise that we want to get to a point to where we're consistent in everything that we do. And then that will take us to another level and others will model that. And once they model that consistency, they'll see that greatness. And guess what? You become that other leader that is amplifying greatness over the years. All right. Consistency never lies. Totally agree. That's a profound point. We, we got to say that again for the people in the back. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> All right, Mark. Thank you for sharing that. So, Ted? Man, how am I going to follow that? <laughs> Mark been dropping boulders all show. Even before the show started, he just started just throwing boulders. And now you like follow Mark. You know, and I just uh I try to look at life, and Eric has heard me say this before, life and business and you know, versus kind of like a potluck versus a buffet. Right, you know, buffet, right? You're just trying to see what you can get out of it. Right. Every place you go, you're trying to see what you can get out of every personal situation, interaction, every business situation, you know, kind of like you said, Mark, what's in it for me? Versus looking at it like a like a like a potluck and bringing a dish, right? What can you bring to you know benefit others and make an impact and in friendships and business relationships? And so, you know, again, I try to keep my focus on the, on what I can bring, what I can give. And, you know, the, and just like you said, the experiences that you were able to to show to some to some some younger people. Right. Like they don't have everything they experience. They don't have to experience on their own. Right. They can learn from something if, they, if they're willing, if they're willing to listen, they're willing to you know take it in. And I think that's our responsibility, you know, to be able to do and. And to, and to share and you don't and you don't lose anything by, you know, bringing a dish. So I say bring a, you know, bring a dish. Don't just come in there and and fill up your plate. Bring a dish into every interaction that you have. Bring a dish to every interaction. Dish. We need to write that down. Uh -huh. So so my uh, part of this segment is just it goes back to something I've said on this show many times i think it just has to do with your perspective and how you look at things and i like how mark he changed it for you don't have problems you have a situation right 
And, and I think it, it's all on how you look at things. And I just think you just have to walk around believing that everything is happening for you and not just to you. I mean, I, I think that that's just the key thing. So, and, and I'm just amazed at how two people can, you know, have the same tragic event happen to them, right? The same tragic event, like let's say losing a job. You know, one person goes postal. The, the other person starts a business. Mm. You know, they had the same event. Same event, same thing happened, but it's it's all in your perspective, you know. And, and I think you just have to operate from that mindset, no matter what it is. That I may not understand it now, I may not understand it tomorrow, but at some point, this this is is going to benefit me somehow, one way or another. Even if it just adds to my wisdom and maturity, it's going to benefit me somehow. Maybe it's going to help me to counsel someone else who's in the same situation. I've, I've had that happen where I've, I've gone through stuff and then years later, somebody's going through the exact same thing I was going through. And now mm -hmm. I'm, I'm equipped to talk to them mm -hmm. where had I not gone through that. Yeah. I'd just be throwing out cliches. So, uh, so just that's, that's the key thing. Write this down. Everything's happening for you and not just to you, man. Mm -hmm. I told you at the beginning, this could be a three hour episode. Yeah. <laughs> but Mark, yeah. people got stuff to do. <laughs> people got stuff to do. They want to eat. You can't, you, can't, you can't be unpacking all this stuff. Because Mark said something. What was the saying that you said, Mark, about the, the circle in the cage or something? Circle versus your cage? That right there is a whole show. I was it's like, whole Mark, episode. I, I, this, I'm be honest with you. I was like, Mark, don't do that. <laughs> Mark, we got stuff to do. Don't, that whole thing right there, your circle. Mm -hmm. That might that we might have, to have another show on just that. The circle versus the cage. That right there. We might, that's that tells the tale, man. I mean that yeah. that 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 puts you and that, that really puts you in a different perspective, man. When you yeah. when you get done you when know, I'm trying to pour everything into people who who, um, again, that, that's that's two more. That's another show. We, they got to come, come back. Mark. Don't don't give them all of it, man. Don't give all of them. Don't give it. Don't give it all to them today. All right, all right. You got to tell it. <laughs> all right, man. This is great. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to bring you back. We, we yes, got sir. Things to unpack and anytime, yes, sir. anytime, felt anytime. Just let yes, me sir. Especially I mean, during these times, you know, we're just coming out of the pandemic. People's heads aren't necessarily in the right place. You know, I think we need to hear messages uh, like this, that, you know, it's all how you look, look at things and that you can get on the other side. So tell us, uh, how can people best connect with you and get your information? Absolutely. The easiest way for them to do is just go right to my website, which is the processmarksmith.com. And once they click on that, they can actually up at the very top. It's, it's a hyperlink. So they can click on it. They can follow me on Facebook. They can follow me on LinkedIn. You can find as well as YouTube. I've got a new YouTube video that was just recorded. That's the season that that's ties into the season finale of If I Only Knew Then What I Know Now. We're going to be releasing that later this week. Um, again, and you, I have a counter, a clicker, so you can actually so click the list button. You can go right there. And you can listen to any one of my my podcasts, and you can also see the ta the days and times of the radio shows. And you can boom, click on the link, and it launches you right to the radio show. And mm. then there's a pop down at the very bottom to where you can email me if you have any questions, comments, concerns, want to talk offline, have some certain situations that you that um, like an ear to, to listen to. And I'm here. Let's change legacy changing actions in 2022 and beyond. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Let's go get it, Eric. That's what I'm saying. No, don't wait for it to come to you, Mark. Go get it. <laughs> get it. I'm, Absolutely. I'm in. Absolutely. I am in as well. Let's get it. Let's get it. So th this has been a fantastic episode of the 30 Minute Hour Podcast. Uh, we we want to thank Mark V. Smith. Yes, sir. For everything he shared. We're gonna have to have him back to unpack some of the some of the little boulders he dropped on this episode. Yeah. yeah. And go deeper. Yeah. Like we it, might have to have a boulder. We might have to have a boulder limit with Mark. Mark can't, you can't come up here with like a hundred boulders on somebody else's podcast. You got to come here with like a traveling pack. Like we're going to say you like a five boulder limit. 
You be coming here. I can't here. bring an overnight bag. I can't bring an overnight bag. No, uh, you can't. No, uh, just enough. Just enough for the show. And I know, look, and y'all, y'all might charge me for the bag. It's like that, like how it goes. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Look, I'm counting. <laughs> they be like, ding. Like that thing be just popping up with a ding. Look, you got one more boulder you can drive me here. And that's you it. You exceeded your boulder limit there. Hey, Put him on mute. Good. Put Mute him. Mute him. Mute the brother. Mute him. Wow, that's good. Good stuff. <laughs> that was great, man. Yeah, man. We definitely appreciate you. We definitely appreciate everybody that's watching and listening yeah. to us. Don't forget to listen to the replay of this episode Shh. on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or any of those other places you like to listen to podcasts. This is one you don't want to miss, and make sure you share the show. Mm-hmm. Until next time. Like and subscribe. Like Absolutely. That's like and subscribe, it. share the show, all those things, and we will see you next time on the 30-Minute Hour Podcast. Have a great one.